Hello, everybody. I am FTA. I'm fucking Dizawa and Crash 2 fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to. Un- and welcome back to part one of 7000 of World 3 of Crash Bandicoot <laughs> 2. Cortex Strikes Back. Hold on to your butts, folks. It's going to be a bumpy ride. So I know not to go in there due to some uh, things. Or that one. <laughs> or this one, but this one's a little better, I think. Yeah, sure. Better. For the sake of... As long as uh, you don't forget to go back to that level, like, we forgot to go back to Dry uh, Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> For the sake of transparency, um, we were recording this a few weeks after... We don't owe them shit, Chris! <laughs> <laughs> Guess you're right. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So you brought me again, why don't you? We don't owe them shit. Forgot that we got Hollywood producer Chon Chon oh, in the Christ. house tonight. As, as, as Chris was saying before he was really interrupted by Captain Dickface, um, <laughs> we like, we recorded Worlds 1 and 2 a couple weeks ago, so we don't really remember what we talked about, and it's uh, it's past 11. And, and um, uh, since <laughs> I just found out, or realized we're uploading this um, like a month after E3, pretty much, um, please don't harass us for any opinions expressed about the future of the Crash franchise, since... Oh, what? Well, how did I get... Never mind. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, I'm down there. That... Uh, whatever. Yeah, so, <laughs> when it turns out Crash is only a Skylander, and um, our dreams are... Oh, how the fuck do I deal with this thing? You jump on that. You jump in the middle. Fuck him. Yeah, so, if we're dumb, sorry. <laughs> you know what? You should say that we should bring that up, because, again, at the time of this recording, it, it's the Saturday... It's E3 is in an hour tomorrow. PlayStation Conference is uh, basically two nights from now. Yep, yeah, um, but what was leaked at least uh, by a friend Aaron on Twitter... Was he, did, that, he didn't leak it. Don't give him credit. What, uh, he found it. Yeah, he linked it to us. He found the, the leak. leak. Yeah, he found the leak. That doesn't mean it was leaked by well, him. Well, I said it was linked to us by him. Oh, okay. Um, apparently, international websites... Fuck it. Um, uh, ...posting on the Skylanders homepage, there is a, a uh, unclickable sublink that just says Crash. Which I found for myself, so I can verify that. Which I saw the first thing you like didn't work for me, and I wanted to do a Twitter where I just highlight the fact they said international, which <laughs> means not American. I'd be like, this is what it fucking means, you idiot. You can't go on the American website. Yeah. But it, it, it it's weird because like him being in Skylanders, I'm sure since because have, have Activision owned Crash since Skylanders came out, or was that did they acquire him after that? Um. Uh. It- think before, right? I, I need to know when Skylanders came out, because I think Crash was 2010. I think so. I want to... I could be wrong, but I want to say, like, the first Skylanders was... 09? Yeah, I, I think... I'm thinking 08, so like, around that yeah. time. Because the Wii was still pretty powerful, because they... Originally, they wanted Skylanders to be Wii exclusive. But Nintendo were like, no, we don't fucking want to do that. Yeah. Probably one of the they're worst kicking mistakes. Their fucking, yeah, it's like that and... Screwing over Sony when it came to the uh, the disc add-on for the Super Nintendo. Yeah, the uh, the gaming market uh, could be a very different place had that deal not fallen south. Yep. Hey, I'm Super Saiyan. Can you kill the eels when you're Super Saiyan? Um, I maybe try it. No, nope. can't. Uh-huh. Yeah, fuck them. We got better things to do. Yeah, but so I, you know, like as as we said, the uh, them being Crash going to Skylanders, you're invincible. We're scared of the fire for. I I can't hear the music, so I wasn't oh, sure when it was gonna run out. I fucked myself on that. The mask is on over his face, sunshine. You should know that you're a Crash fan. Well, I didn't want it to do what I did and run out as soon as I ran <laughs> out. <to him. laughs> um, you also wasted all. all yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to bring it up in case you guys didn't notice, <laughs> but yeah. But it's it's like this is since you know they did the, the spiral. People have been assuming, oh, you know, Shit. they're gonna they crash. Sink. They sink. They're gonna do it to, you know, crash would be at Skyland or something. I'm surprised it took so long. Yeah, Skyland has gone through, what, like four different iterations now? I think, yes. I think I think they're on four, if nothing else, yeah. Coming up. Imaginators or whatever they're calling that no, shit. No, I thought, I thought it, it was the vehicle thing, though, because that's what Donkey Kong and Bowser are. Or are, are they on a different one past that? They're um, about to introduce a new one. And Seriously? Yeah, that one was like Trap Team or something. This one's Imaginator. But wasn't that just a few months ago that came out? Uh, maybe for the Donkey Kong Bowser thing. Maybe it was late. I, I don't keep track of I that think, stuff. I think the Donkey Kong Bowser stuff was late into that. Oh. But that was some good brand synergy. Jesus. Yeah, sure. Uh, it was. We'll go okay. with that. It was like it was like it's Wait. like it's like Sonic being in um, um uh, Little Dimensions. Do I have to re-get that crystal? Yes, you do. Shit. Fuck. 
and everything. <sighs> Which I think that's that's an improvement that Crash Free made. As soon as you touch it, I believe, even if you die, you still have it. Yeah, if you get it, you get it. Uh, oh. I guess when you get it, you get it. I was misinformed. You could have still went. Well, it should be there. because it, when you press that, it should say eleven, because you have ten from the previous two worlds. Unless it's not included it until you get the level. I don't think it includes it unless you wait. Uh, stand still. <sighs> I am. Triangle. Oh, you got it. Oh, that's smart. Good idea. <laughs> I, I forgot that was a feature. Yeah. For some reason, I wanted to think three introduced that. Mm. Aren't but... you glad I introduced, or interrupted you there, Chris? <laughs> huh? No. Because then I forget what I was talking about. Oh, fuck. <sighs> I always thought it was creepy, the way that those, those scientists in this one, when you kill them, uh, they have that uh, stock screaming sound. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't. I couldn't hear what they actually sounded like. Is it really that scary? Yeah. <laughs> I never. I never pay attention. I'm just like, fuck that guy. He's kind of like stock falling down a cliff. Uh, like like the Wilhelm scream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite gag in Ratchet and Clank. No Wilhelm. <laughs> that was a good gag. That was a good gag. Oh, I got the release date update for that Blu-ray. And I'm Ratchet and Clank. I'm actually kind of excited to watch it again. I've come around on. Wanting to see it again versus accepting that it'll be out and I'll watch it again. When's it out? Next? Not that I ever disliked it. I think August twenty eighth. Okay. Yeah, I'm just nice. Excited to watch it again. I didn't think I'd get like excited. I liked it. I, I, I liked it. I liked it. I just, buy it when it gets cheap on on, on Blu-ray. Yeah, I'm just like I didn't expect I'd get giddy like I get to see it again, <laughs> but I did. So awesome. You know what? I, I was going back thinking about it, and I really dislike the. Uh, Opening sequence where like Ratchet's fixing that guy's thing, like that ship, and it's like flying around all crazy. Yeah, yeah. I think you said that during our lost. Uh, yeah, thing. I just uh, that, that was so dumb. Like it didn't. It made Ratchet a jerk because this old man was like, "I don't want any of this." Like, why'd you give it to me? He's like, "No, oh, it's just good. You can give it to you. Oh, yeah. Ratchet." I, I think they wanted to play up the oh, he's an inventor thing, even though he never invents anything. <laughs> no, I would have preferred if they kept him like a big prick, like I did in Ratchet One, the original. <laughs> Uh, no, actually, I hate that. Same. I hate that he's a jerk for, like, no reason. It's his character. What do you mean, no reason? It's just part of his well, character. Well, because he's not, part, he's not like that for the rest of the series. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It, it's, you know, it's the episode one. It's the early... It was, I think it's what TV tropes would call early installment weirdness. Huh. Man, I haven't died too much so far compared to the <laughs> last time we recorded well, now this. You, now you just but just yourself. just wait until we get back to that level one and level five, because Jesus Christ! Maybe we'll upload the opening four minutes of our first no, recording. No, that is. Yep, we're doing it. That is worthless <laughs> to anyone. It'll be the last part of this LP. Uh, put a comment. Leave a comment on this webzone if you want to see the opening four minutes of Chris <laughs> Fagan terribly. Fifteen hundred likes. I'll release it <laughs> for five dollars. Leave a comment on the website. <laughs> we'll send you a crash pizza. Oh, Get fuck. out of my car and into my <laughs> dreams! <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. I wonder if, if, if it's gonna be in. Oh no, it's it's her. Crash, get me crystals! <laughs> it's fuck off. It's Coco with her crystal hair. <laughs> it just looks like a giant crystal. In her, the I, I, I kinda watch it. Her eyes are very judgmental. Like <laughs> in this animation, like, don't you judge me, I'm doing shit. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. You're doing fuck all, Coco! <laughs> That's cause she's a bitch. I, okay, Chris. I, I forgot that. Fuck you know, it. I never really heard that until you you started saying "fuck all, Garrett." <laughs> I, it must be it must be a British thing because, like, like I said, I never heard. Oh, jeez, racist. <laughs> last night, last night when I went and saw um, the Warcraft movie, oh, the, God. dating this LP. Um, <laughs> we already dated it. Ah, uh, fair enough. Um, I was talking about certain characters in the movie, because uh, I there was a bunch of characters in the movie that what. How did you die to that, Chris? How did he move when the box got moved? Because <laughs> the box was in his way. Why couldn't he go around it? Because it's a 2D plane. Yeah, 2D plane. He's a plane. Anyway, so there He's was awesome. there was these uh, there was a lot of characters in the movie that I'm I'm familiar with in like the Warcraft books and stuff. Unfortunately, and yeah, unfortunately, Warcraft books. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, and uh, you know, I was excited to see them on on screen. And one of my characters was... One of uh, your characters? Uh, one oh. of my favorite characters was the main antagonist. And another one of my characters was, like, his lackey, I guess? And so, um... 
<laughs> I was telling somebody after the movie that I was glad that this character uh, was good because this other character did fuck all, and they were like, "What?" <laughs> I was like, "I was like, oh, they didn't do anything." <laughs> That's why I didn't like. <laughs> I remember one time, uh, it part of the same story, TJ, that you like, where I I, um, I recommended that we call our family dog Starscream. My yeah. my parents were very flummoxed. By the expression "damn straight," they were what? They, they were flummoxed. They didn't understand. They didn't get my mother. Was like, I don't get what, what do you flummoxed mean? this. Baffled? Oh. Yeah. They were, they were, okay. They were, to, to dumb it down for Christopher here, they were Thank baffled you. by the uh, the term "damn straight." Damn. They didn't get what it meant. Damn straight, they were. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> Look at that fucking two D plane, huh? At least I can get Everything more... else exists on a 2D plane. You're 3D. <laughs> At least I can get more apples. It's basic physics, Chris! <laughs> hey, I got 4 kilo lives, dude. Basic. Physics? Uh, You're uh, the one who's classic physics fan. <laughs> Not by choice, I was assigned. Man, this bandicoot doesn't obey the laws of physics at all. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. Oh, uh, God. This feels so very much like a Crash 1 level. Yeah, it... I think I was playing these last night to practice, and fuck, that did no fucking good. <laughs> I was, I generally thought this was like a Crash One level. Oh, oh no, like no, no. When you remember it being like yeah, like this kind of level idea. Yeah, like yeah. The theme and like this layout might be a throwback. Might be like we need, to, we need a Actually, level. The, the, Let's reuse the, some shit. The um, the ruin levels, I guess, is what you would call these. Those are my least favorite in Crash One. Those are the yeah. most annoying because they had those bat traps, um, where you had you had the bats. Go uh, uh, go 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 go! Um, oh, oh, okay. I was like, am I supposed to get the green one? Or? You had the bats that were um like so you had you had the tr dumb. the yeah, line of bats, bats yeah that would come in a circle, but you would have one bat on one end of the um the part that you had to navigate in between the bat yeah. flying cycles. You had one bat on one end that you had to kill, and then you had to walk all the way to the end, navigating the path in between the bat cycles, yeah. and kill the other one. Like, it, was, it, it, it wasn't enough just to kill the one. You had to do both. Mm. I don't like this one. Oh. Yeah, those were really annoying. Good, goodbye, my floating head that I abandoned. <laughs> it was funny. I, I, was, uh, I brought over... Um, crash to play at Aaron's because she has a uh, Hor PS2 that she's been playing. <laughs> Horrible platformer opinions. <laughs> Alternatively, um, and I was playing the ruin levels, and I I had both like a really annoying sequence where I couldn't uh, navigate a, a like a bat obstacle, <laughs> and and then on like right after that was an obstacle where like the walls move out and push you off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fuck that. And, um, <laughs> I just, I paused the game, I put the controller down, <clears throat> and I was looking at my phone for a good, like, ten minutes, mm -hmm. and uh, she looked at me and she was like, are you done? And then I was like, yep. <laughs> she was like, why? Did you beat it? And I was like, nope. nope. <laughs> I, I wonder if, if at this point, because, you know, they only had the first game to go off, I wonder if at this point they still felt this was like some of the better stuff in Crash 1, which is why they included it here, and then why there's not, there's not really levels like this in 3 onwards. If, so maybe after two games they learned that nobody really liked these, these types of levels. Mm, yeah, <laughs> might be true. <sighs> we made it. Although what, is there any, is it, can you think of any Crash 2 levels that crossed over into 3? Because uh, what a bit. Which mm -hmm. became the tiger. Um, you you could make the argument that the the waterboard skateboards became it was a prototype to the jet ski. Yeah, I suppose. Um, just to be safe. Good call. This way, we have a lot of lies to go back to if we need it. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, Beavers. Oh, Jesus. You do it. You, I thought you were gonna say this one to last. No, it's the other one that's. He's gotta do it I'm now. more scared of. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so uh, when we, when we <laughs> first started playing this, press triangle. 
Chris triangle. Chris literally jumped yeah. and landed 14, in water. Okay. Let's see how many I have in that a few amazing. minutes. Because Gareth and I were like, after all this time, Chris ragged oh, on us. Yeah, he's got like, Captain, Captain Crash Bandicoot over here. <laughs> he died in five seconds. <laughs> it was beautiful. I think I immediately fell off the very first platform well, thing. Funny was, I was giving you I was giving you shit for like non gameplay reasons. I was like I was like you chose this level. What the <laughs> fuck? And I was like the level loads faster when we play. Shit. Yeah, the level loads faster when we play. I purposely ignored that. Because I'm like <laughs> if I think about this, I'm gonna get a little upset. <laughs> and maybe the game likes TJ more it loads quicker for him. <laughs> you don't need all the boxes, Chris uh, I, I I will. I need all these apples. Wumpa fruits. They're wumpa fruits. Yeah, wumpa fruits. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I need. You did a voice and made fun of me, and then you died. Serves you right, you prick. <laughs> I was no, I was making fun of the uh, the guy I always make fun of in Crash playthroughs. But I really need the one, oh, the one who calls them wumpa fruits. No, the one who calls them apples. No, yeah, the one who calls them wumpa fruits is like they're not apples. They're, they're, they're wumpa fruits. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Uh, it sounds like a character from Dario who's always trying to date uh, Dario. People who watch the speedrunning community Wait. and some specific marathons know exactly who I'm talking oh, about. Oh, Jesus. MBM? No, it's the guy who threatened... He didn't threat, but he was really nervous, and his final words amounted to something about killing everyone in the room before oh, leaving. Was, was he the one who got banned? Yes. Okay, yeah, I watched that. I was thinking, yeah. Was, was I was wondering up. if he got banned. I was like, jeez. It was pretty dude. awkward. It was bad because he had a pretty decent Sonic Adventure run and seemed like a fine human being. But, nope. Just because he plays Sonic Adventure? <laughs> no. Jesus Christ, you would forgive Hitler if he liked Sonic Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Quote from Hitler. You know, the big levels really weren't that bad. <laughs> Mind, mind <laughs> Camp Chapter 2, SA1 Superior over SA2. <laughs> There's who we need for the great Sonic Adventure today. Right. Fuck Johnny. And over it, love. <laughs> Jesus. It'll just be one of those YouTube poops. <laughs> Actually, I want to I wanna, I wanna superimpose Hilo on Chris's face now in that, in that panel. Oh my god, we're, we're they telling him something bad and he's just... <laughs> I did, no, 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 no. I was telling you guys, I made this, when I was in, when I was in uh, high school, I, oh, me, me and my friends, we did this um, series of, of videos, we called ourselves the History Buses, we would like do like videos on like Vietnam, and we did a video on, on Hitler, and, oh, and, and, and we ended it, like, and we ended it by just being like, you know, we always wondered like how, like obviously you know, he, he, he was a man who did very evil things, he was a big prick, but like, you know, we wonder like how, a big prick, because like, we have to wonder like how, how he felt doing the things that, you know, that he was known for. We ended it by a montage of like Hitler, um, like speeches. But we put, we put like the, the guitar solo from It Doesn't Matter as it was on it. Jesus. <laughs> and it's like, it's fucking weird to see Hitler speaking. But I'm like, it doesn't matter now Got what it? happens. Someday, if we ever like have June in our company and he's like really drunk with us, oh, sure, please tell him that. Yeah. It's like, dude. It's like, I um, used your music for some uh, creative purposes. I was yeah. wondering what you thought. I use this for, for educational purposes to teach the world about the evil of Adolf Hitler. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I should have loaded that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh god. Speaking of which, um, you was... missed like two like fucking um, TNT boxes during the level. Good. We could have gotten our first gem, man. I was Good. scrolling through old FTCR stuff. Oh god. And I saw the, I saw the uploads from uh, Summer of Sonic 09. <laughs> Where it starts with you, Steven, and Torch. <laughs> and you standing you, on some you, random you place. Those, you know what's funny about that? You might get mad for his this week. Steven had to stand on a box to be the same. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I, I watched that one. I'm not so laughing. Like, I'm not laughing because he had to do that. I'm laughing because you said he would get mad if he <laughs> knew, knew people knew about that. It's, <laughs> it's funny to me because I watched that and I think my internal processing was, huh. Gareth must not have been tall enough Steven yet. Steven Trank over the years. <laughs> oh my god. That would be unbearable.